Alright, so here I am on the lake fishing. We got alligator over there. So, uh, see what that strat is. I am uh, fishing here with my uh, girlfriend, Juliana. She uh, films some of these videos recently. She'll be using a electric shad colored, which is basically blue and like clearish um, fluke. And I have on a Rapala X Wrap jerkbait that's like orange and black. Um, we're going for bass or pickerel. So uh, I got my new Abu Garcia Revo X reel here, try here, and we're gonna try it out. Yeah, this is the electric uh, shad. Zoom. Fluke. <laughs> so far, my first two casts have had slight backlashes. But the first cast cast it pretty far and very smooth. Makes a little noise when I reel it in. See, what I think happened is Bass Pro spooled it a little too much for my liking. I like to keep it a little lower. But, uh... Whatever. Oh, I saw a flash. It's a pickle. <laughs> All right, folks. There you have it. We have a pickerel in the boat. It's kind of a small guy uh, on the jerk bait. Not surprised. A pickle. You just called it a pickle. No, I call it a pickerel. She calls it a pickle, but it's really a pickerel. Okay, chain pickerel. You could tell that by the line, the black line that comes down from the thigh. Um, I'll show you. Let me just get him unhooked. Yeah, she got a bite in here, but, you know, pulled it out of its mouth. Okay, here we go. Um, I can take the hook out. Alright, so here he is. Chain pickerel. Like I was saying, you could tell the difference between a chain pickerel and a pike by this black vertical line next to his eye. Alright, I'm going to put them back now. And by the way, chain pickerel are very thick, slimy layer on them. Just, just so you know. Also, very sharp teeth, so you don't want to, uh, you don't want to mess with them. All right, here we go. What is that? Is that a little bass? Oh, it's a yellow perch. Oh my goodness, it's a yellow perch. I got a yellow perch on, on a giant shark bait. <laughs> Would you look at that? Probably my biggest yellow perch. Poor guy's uh, looked pretty good. I was gonna say, uh, that was a pretty weak fish, whatever it was. So uh, I'm gonna get Buddy on the hook. Well, folks, I dropped the fish in the water before I could show you off the hook. Um, yeah, I mean, you saw me hook it, you know, but you didn't see it go back in the water, but it went back in the water, even though that was probably a good eater size. Matter of fact, I'd like to try to eat the perch, to be honest. But um, I'm not ready for that, so you know, I wasn't prepared to bring home the perch. But uh, yeah, I caught that on this jerk bait. Um, he slid out of my hand, you know. He gave me a little uh, stabby stabby, and uh, he was angry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I caught another pickerel. I didn't really feel it. Kind of felt like a wet towel. He did not fight at all. So we're gonna get him unhooked, and hopefully I don't drop him in the water before. Uh, hopefully I don't drop him in the water before I, um, you know, show you guys another pickerel. Pick <sighs> pickle. Yeah, another pickerel. Um, another pickle. You know, the pickle. Well, I can't even say pickle or pickerel right because of the pickle. pickle. Whatever. Anyway. Pickerel, pickle, you know, as many as you catch, you know, you can get the pickle jar. All right, all right, enough. Here we go. Terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a fish. Probably another pickle, because there's no bass in this lake anymore. Oh, 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 is it? Oh, oh it's a pickle. <laughs> they come out of the water flying, you man. Like <laughs> so we got another pickle here, guys. This one seems like he really uh, got it in his mouth. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, in the water he goes. That's a 
pickerel. It's not even swimming. That's its technique. Can that move? You see him? He's not even moving. Oh, he's a big one. It's another pickerel. Take it easy, pal. Take it easy. Oh, the hook's almost out. All right, let me get back to you. It's another pickerel. Going back in the water. Those are mando. Pickerel uh, came off the hook nice and easy. This guy, very small. I'm gonna put him back now. Look at what we have here. Yeah, look at what we have here. Someone was getting mad at me for catching too many fish. So. Look what happened, now she caught him. Nice little pickle. Little pickerel. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so she's done with her fish now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here it goes. There he goes. What do you have to say about your big catch? <laughs> here you go, folks. You heard it here first. All right. Well, my first day using this reel, uh, Abu Garcia Revo X, was a uh, great success. I caught a yellow perch and had to be somewhere between five and six pickerel. Um, I think I caught two or three on this slipless crankbait, and I caught the first three, I'm pretty sure, and the yellow perch on the yellow, on the orange and black Rapala X wrap that she currently has in the water. Um, and then she did catch a pickerel on that also. So, uh, hey, it's, it's pre spawn. There's still no leaves on the trees. We're in upstate New York and we're using moving lures. I mean, I'm satisfied with that, you know? You don't have to sit there and just dangle nothing all day. You can actually cast like pretty decent hard plastics. Um, you know, I wasn't really reeling this uh, lipless crank in very slowly. I was actually moving it quite quickly. Um, and uh, you know, same thing with the, the, the lipless crankbait. I was moving that guy along too. Um, no much more to say. I mean, the reel is great. I love it. Um, I think there might be a little bit too much line on it for my preference because it nested quite a few times. Other than that, I think uh, I think very good. So, and yeah, I know. I see we attracted some other fishermen. I can't tell if it's a pickerel, pickerel or a bass. Might actually be a yellow perch. Can't tell though. Anyway, that's the story. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, so far, I would definitely recommend getting this Abu Garcia Revo X. And um, of course, like everything else, there'll be a long-term review. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.